This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon, um, and uh, today I'm going to encourage you to question um, why you should probably stop helping people. Now, <clears throat> I suppose, I mean, like, there's, there's more to this, right? But it, it really feels really nice to help people. I think sometimes it's it's really um, and crucial and important and, you know, kindness. Um, I think, what is it, random acts of kindness? Um, I mean, kindness shouldn't be random or an act, um, kindness should be um, a consistent part of um, well, love, really. So rather than it sort of just being like a, a goal that I aim to hit every day, it should just be a part of my conversations I have with every single person I come in contact with. I think we'd be in a better space if we aim for that rather than um, looking for random acts. It means that in between those random acts, you could be an arsehole. You know, I catch myself from time to time being like... A, abrupt or rude or something along those lines um even sometimes the other person doesn't think so or sometimes i'm not and the other person thinks so i mean like it's it's all subjective but the thing i suppose i'm getting at here is that the this idea of helping people outside of these random acts of kindness right this idea of helping people is like well why are you helping someone um are you helping them for them or are you helping them for you right and this is a really important thing to pay attention to because sometimes we help other people for ourselves. We're not helping them for them. In fact, you know, we're trying to play the good guy or the good girl role, the one that's always there and, you know, um, always supportive or helpful and lend a, you know, a uh, helping hand and, and all that kind of stuff. And then if you're getting upset when people don't do it back to you, then you've got to understand that you're not helping people, you're, you're giving people a transaction right? It's a bit different. But here's the other thing is that I know I've been stuck doing this, but only with particular people. It's kind of interesting. That's that's a whole other conversation. If you ever catch me, ask me about it because I'll tell you. But the thing about going out of a way to help people sometimes is that we are doing it for ourselves. We're not doing it for them. We're not listening to them to what actually helps them. We're looking at their situation with our own lens and our own eyes and go, well, if I was in that situation... This is the kind of help that I would want. And so we go and do that rather than actually checking in with the individual, right? And sometimes we may do it so that, you know, well, if I do this, then the person will think that I'm a good person and then they'll tell other people and I'll feel good. And that's actually conditional esteem, right? It means that you actually have to help someone in order to get, well, esteem, in order to feel good. And that's not true, it seems like it's a really nice thing, but the problem is is that you're going to come across some independent people that don't want your help. And then it's going to frustrate you and piss you off. You're like, why don't you want my help? Like, what's wrong? Well, you think you can do it by yourself and so on and so forth. And then we've got to be very careful because a really unhealthy variation of that person will actually look for people that constantly need help. You know, And, uh, and so they're not trying to help people. <laughs> they're trying to feel good because probably from a childhood pattern of some sort that... They were good when they helped someone, right? When they helped around the house or they heard things such as, um, you know, what would I do without you? All this sort of stuff. Now, this isn't me really telling you to stop helping people. This is me encouraging you to question, why do you want to help somebody? Like, what's the underlying motive? And get real fucking raw with yourself as well. As in, like, what's the underlying motive to you helping somebody at this point in time. And don't look for the first answer, right? Look for like the fifth, sixth, or seventh, right? As you pull it apart and let the answer be whatever it is, right? Don't try and like be attached to it or think that you just got to be a nice person, right? Because here's the thing about nice people. Somebody who's nice, let me reframe that. If you say something nice that's not true, then you're not nice. These people that just give compliments, right? trying to be nice but they don't believe those compliments they're not giving compliments they're fucking lying 
And this is not nice. It's like, we need more of that. No, we fucking don't. Because you're lying. It's not true. That's not what you think. You're saying that to try and get the other person to like you, but they will never like you because you're not being you. You're being a person that you think they'll, they will like. It's the whole quote of, I'm not who I think I am. I'm not who you think I am. I am who I think you think I am, right? So we've got to, got to be honest and be raw with that kind of bullshit attitude. It's like, give a compliment if you believe it. But don't give a compliment if you don't believe it, because that's a lie, right? And so understanding this and understanding the whole nice and the helping thing, it's like, we got to go back deeper and go question what is, and I don't know what it is for you, but what is the motive? Why are you doing that? Is it because you want them to be able to tell someone that you're a good person because of your credibility? Because none of that's real, right? It just means that you hand your authority over to people and what they think of you, and you're not in control of that, which means you're always being pulled one way or the other. Now, I'm going to get to the importance of helping people in a minute, but this is the last thing I'm going to say on this, and this is something that I still have to like fucking learn, and it's hard, but and, and I mean that on because because of both ends of the spectrum of this situation, but when we help people, we can fucking weaken them, right? If we're not careful and we go around helping people, we weaken them. We create codependencies. Now, I'm not saying that this is always necessarily a bad thing. What I am saying is that if we are not, if we got shit on in our own life, but we're going to go out of our way to help other people, it's like, A, we're weakening them, and we're weakening ourselves. It's like, you need to fucking fix your own shit. And it's not up to somebody else. You can have a support team. You can have people there with you. You can get advice. You can have coaches. You can have mentors. You can read books. You can go to school. Right? All of that for sure. But but if you're helping and trying to fix other people, you just got to look at yourself and go, am I avoiding something here for myself? And it's a really fucking tough question because nine times out of ten, the answer is going to be, yeah, you fucking are. You are avoiding something. What is that? Right? Because we don't help people by just going around and doing shit for them. We help them by being an example of a decent, good, down-to-earth, like, genuine human being. Right? By being the example. And so this is so crucial for us to really grasp and understand, and it's challenging for sure. Like, I get that. But it's more challenging to keep get, like getting let down by the bullshit expectations you have, based upon the world meant to be doing, you know, the basically the same thing that you're doing for it. It's like the world doesn't work like that, and that's a fucking transaction. So we should help people. We 100% should help people. But we just need to question the motive behind it. We also need to question: Is that is this weakening them long term? Because if they can do it themselves. Like, like a teams are strong. I get that, 100%. And there's a bit of give and take. I fucking absolutely agree with that. But if this weakens them long term, then you have some things to think about. Because what you're also doing is you're weakening yourself. So, if you're going to help someone, look in the mirror. Help that person first. When you start to really help that person, and you show that person compassion, you show that person love, you show that person care... You'll be surprised at how the world changes around you. If you really want to help the world around you, you help that person in the mirror. Because the world, the universe responds. It'll always, it'll always respond. It always has, right? You sort that shit out in the mirror, and the universe always balances out. It has to. All these fears, all that sort of stuff, and we're not responding to it. It means that you're not dealing with reality. You're letting the you're letting you're stopping yourself from really unfolding based upon the worst case scenario of that might happen in the future that never does. So you just go help someone else because it's easier. Yeah, it's time to face it. Hey, it's time to help yourself. Team, I'm out. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you found this podcast beneficial, and if you did, it would mean the world to me if you would share it with someone else that you think would also find it beneficial. If you haven't already, you know the drill. Jump on Mood Prep online on Facebook. I'm going to share the Enneagram in there tomorrow, which will be today when you hear this, okay? The Enneagram link in there. So those of you that listened to the podcast yesterday and haven't listened to it or haven't done the test, whatever, it'll be in there. Otherwise, that's me. I am done. Thank you very much for tuning in. Until tomorrow, peace and pizza. Kick today in the dick. 
Slay the dragon. I'll see you soon.